Hi everybody. Hi. We're back. Welcome to our second floss tube video. It's been a while since it's been we like have three weeks. done a video. We were all set up last Saturday at my place and then somebody forgot their iPad and we <laughs> used my iPad which we did not realize after a set amount of time that my memory was full and it yeah. stopped recording and we were just that, done. We were almost halfway through the video. We were pretty much halfway through, yeah. and that was uh, the day before Christmas Eve. But mm -hmm. anyway, we're back. Welcome again to our second video. I am Allison. And I'm Jennifer. And we are Stitching Social. So we were just blown away, really, about how many views we had. Yeah, for sure. And subscribers and shout outs. We were really welcomed into the community and we're super excited to be here. Yeah. And glad that there's people out there that care about what we say. Yeah. Because that was one thing we were worried about. And we watch a lot of Floss too. Mm -hmm. And so it's nice to be a part of the community, like you said, and yeah. to just join in and pretty cool when people we watch we've watched for a long time are shouting us out so that's really exactly. nice pretty cool mm -hmm. so anyway we're going to get started so today we're going to start with finishes since we last saw you mm -hmm. now someone over here was <laughs> stitching up a storm and has all these finishes so why don't you just jump right into it and show us what you did so the first thing i did um finished was this little pillow right here that I made into an egg and I actually just used my, one of my um, oval hoops to um, to uh, trace out the oval and it's kind of uh, uneven a little bit but I'm pretty proud of how I finished it I just so this was from uh, just cross stitch an older issue right yeah so I'm glad I keep the back issues of just cross stitch because sometimes when I'm flipping through them I don't think like oh there's something in them that I want to stitch but anyway so I went looking through last year's uh, winter issue and this is February 2016 and um, oh, <laughs> there you go so it's on page 15 and it's the bird teapot cozy and that's how it's finished there by the French needle is the designer yeah and so I just, um, I really liked the pattern and I decided to make it into a little pillow. So now this was going to be a gift. It was supposed to be a gift. Mm, yes. Which we've discussed. <laughs> we kind of rambled about it in our last trial video. Um, but we have since discovered that we're not uh, big enough to actually give away what we stitched. So <laughs> the person got something else that I'm sure they loved. Right? Yeah, no, they did. Yeah. They never knew. No, they never even knew. So she wanted to do it as a box and she had like decoupaged or painted. But she said it looked like the two year old made it. She's like, I can't give this away. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was, <laughs> it didn't look like very professional. You know, when you have something in your head and you think like, Oh, that's good. such a good idea. Something from Pinterest or something. Maybe they've got dreamed up in your head and then you go to do it and Just then you realize that like a kid looked like a kid did it. It, it doesn't look as fancy. <laughs> so I decided to just make it into a pillow and keep it for myself. Yeah. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah. <laughs> so I did, I finished that. And also in our first video, I talked about um, an ornament that I, um, a Mill Hill kit that I had um, bought. From, Again, as a gift. As a gift. Well, the whole reason why I bought it, like I said in the first video, was to give it away. And then I didn't think I'd have time to stitch it. And then on uh, Stitch Mania, I could see everybody's beautiful ornaments. And I thought, I have to do an ornament now. Like, mm -hmm. I'm very easily um, influenced. So I thought, I've got to do I've got to do an ornament. So, so yada, yada, yada. <sighs> she finished it. So I finished it. So this is the kit, if you didn't watch the first video. And it's one of the ice crystals. And um, it's really pretty. And I, I don't know. I did it with the with the perforated paper and everything. So now she Instagrammed this, and in her picture, which follow her on Instagram, simply X stitching, and uh, she it kind of looked purple put, on the tree, but it's actually it did. I think it was just the lights that made it look kind of funny, but um, and then I just put my initials on the back, and it came with a little charm. And um, Cassandra Martinez finished a uh, crystal Mill Hill crystal as well, and she um, posted on her last video, so. Anyways, so I'm going to do one every year. We should say that now. So we'll see. We'll see what happens next year, but we'll see. There are all kinds of plans. And then I also... If that's not enough. Right. So then I... So then I was watching um, Pam and Steph. And... Just keep stitching. Yeah. We love them. We love them. And um, 
Steph loves Lizzie Kate so much and she talks about that a lot and those are the patterns she likes to stitch so I decided I have a Lizzie Kate I have to stitch it so mm. I pulled it out of my stash unburied it and stitched it up and finished it into this really cute little pillow so the back because I really like the so the I use like a velvety type of fabric for the back Ooh, it's showing up really pink yeah it's not showing as up. pink but it's I like the pink that the camera shows yeah so it came with the beads and the charm and everything, and it even came with the fabric. And the fabric is 28 count mint green um, cashew linen. And I really like stitching on this. And, and that you did that in what, a couple days? A couple of days. A couple of days. Yeah. As if she doesn't work and have a family. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys uh, some needles that I've had forever that I bought, and I don't even know why I bought them. And I love, container. and I love, <laughs> probably, and they, I just love them. They're called the Hiroshima Needles. Uh, it says Tulip on the bottom, but I don't think that's the brand. Anyways, Tapestry Needles. And there's all different sizes in the little vial. Tulip is the brand. Oh, okay. I don't know. I just thought, I have to stitch with them because I have them. So, anyways, I love them. If you guys haven't tried these needles, you should try them at least once. They're really nice. Um, the end where you put the thread has... Um, I... Yeah, the eye. Thank you very much. <laughs> I get the lingo. It, yeah, you gotta get the lingo. So it's gold, and it's just I don't know. It's really pretty, and they're very nice to stitch with. Is that why some people say about well, like the box? Allergy? The box is just like so cute. I love it. She ignored me. That's okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. Are you done? <laughs> um. Yeah, I am done. So those I'm are yeah. her finishes. Oh, I want to say one more thing. I wanted to, <laughs> as if I'm running out of time. But I just wanted to say that I. So the. The little pillow that I did, I'll reach down here that I did, this one right here, I stitched it on this fabric that is no longer available, and I I dropped the pack, the package here. So I love this. It's 32 count um, linen, natural, and it's I think it's M, uh, MCG. MCG Textiles. Is the brand. 32, yeah. And you can't did buy... They, did they go out of business? They went out of business, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Isn't that sad? It is sad. So, but I really, I know there's been some people that had complaints about them, but I really like this. Really? Yeah. Some people have said that the sizes aren't what they measure to be on the package. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, then their pattern's off and that'd be terrible. Uh -huh. Yeah. So maybe there's a reason why, but I don't know, but I just love it. So if anybody has any of this and would sell me some, I would love it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if I Best can find some in Jer New Jersey. Okay. Excellent. So My what turn. have you finished? So, in my family, because we have a stitchy family, our mom cross stitches and rug hooks, and our aunt is a beautiful quilter and knitter. So, in my family, at mm -hmm. least with my sister and my mom, I'm known to finish things and then do nothing with them. That's so very true. So, they're all now doing these videos. They're both on my case of finishing things. So, guys, I have three FFOs that we finished about 20 minutes ago. So, my <laughs> first... We had a little finishing party. Pre yes. floss tube video. She did most of the work. Yeah. <laughs> so true, I, did. I appreciate it. So the first one is the Mill Hill kit that in our last video I had mentioned I did not like the perforated paper mm -hmm. and I decided to, to use it. I called it burlap, but I have been since um, advised that it's just a natural linen, not burlap. So I finished it into a pillow and look at the back. I found fabric. We went to the. It's like a fleece. It's really. Flannel. It's or, yeah, yeah, sorry, flannel. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to a, a local fabric store that's like a discount fabric store, I guess you would say. It was in the quilt store. And we were looking because I did not have fabric in my stash. So that is the fabric. That was her excuse. Tree. I can't finish it because I don't have fabric. And I, I thought... I thought it was a pretty good excuse, though. Well, I guess so. It is if you don't have the supplies. There you go. But I came up with a solution, so we went shopping today. So finished keeping this as I do everything I stitch. <laughs> and the other thing I showed last oh, so video was the Plum Street samplers. I didn't take it out of the plastic. Mary Ew. And, and this was supposed to be a gift. Yeah, but it, yeah. So uh, here it is. So I it calls for a 36 count. Um, and I didn't have 36 count in my stash. So I decided, oh, I'll do one over one. Lots of people love one over one. Mm -hmm. Did not work for me. They did not even look like stitches. This is a 28 count. So I end up doing one over two on the trees and then... You can't really tell that it's, it's one over two. 
It looks like it's two over two. So only the trees are two one over two. Oh okay. And then I had this I'll fabric have to try that. in this my stash. Now so we made it as a circle, because um, of course the pie tart tin, or the tart tin, it was gonna be too big. Yeah. So this is another finish 2017 that I did since my last video. So super proud of that. 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Hot off the press. <laughs> And then, since we were doing a finishing, and we had to go buy fabric, I didn't have fabric for this. So, this is Plum Street Samplers, out of season. Never out of style. <laughs> Sad thing. So, I the Halloween. So, for sure. You don't have to stitch seasonally. That I actually bought what you after a, off of a Canadian buy and sell group. Mm -hmm. And I think the lovely lady that I bought it from was local, and we met up. And I believe she follows us as a subscriber. So, hello. <laughs> finished it. She finished it. So, in my mind, I was always going to be a pillow. And I wanted fabric that were like dog bones. But, I guess, doesn't exist that I could find. So, I just found some complimentary fabric. That's... What is this? Is this like cushion? It's, it's thick. Yeah, it looks like you would use that fabric for cushions. Like but it's... Outdoor yeah, fabric. Yeah, maybe. maybe. But, it's appropriate. So I had finished this, and I literally had to. And that's a date. series, right? Yes, yeah, she's got weenies and genies. <laughs> that would be cute to finish with Jean backing. Yes, and they had denim, denim mm -hmm. actually. So I need to get them all now, because yeah. I have a hound dog, and I always wanted a, a doxy dachshund. But mm -hmm. I have a different hound dog. That's and guess. you and you because you bought that like second hand. That's like recycle. Yeah, recycle. I think it's perfect. Like so maybe I'll have to pass that this pattern along to somebody else who will enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, I finished this in the fall, a long time ago, um, but because I was getting pressure to finish some stuff, I figured let's just do this now too. So, oh, so we go to the store. Me gumball. My <laughs> husband took my car this morning because I'm off today. Today is Thursday the twenty eighth, and his car didn't start. Her birthday's it's tomorrow. So thank you. <laughs> Yes, it is. Um, so it's so cold here. It's minus 17 degrees Celsius. So his car wouldn't start. So he had to take my car. So she comes, picks me up after the fiasco of last weekend of doing this video. And she's putting the pressure on me to do these videos. She really, well, really been, wanted it's to. It's been three weeks. And so I wanted to make another one because yeah. I keep finishing all these things. And I'm going to hog the video. So she threatened so. to... Um, do it herself. So <laughs> I texted her at like eight o'clock saying, actually. "Don't hate me, but I don't have a car." So she came to get, get me. Mm -hmm. So we go to this fabric place with her two year old in tow. I forget my wallet. <laughs> and then I, for my current project, I'm missing one color, six forty, which is such a common color. So they had DMC there. I so said, I "Oh, turn around, it. look, there's DMC." Yeah, grab six forty. Only to get home and realize, no, it was six thirty two. I grabbed. So it's been. So lesson, check the lesson, loser. Like, <laughs> get my stuff together. So that's a long-winded story about that. So those are our finishes since we last saw you guys. So now we're gonna go. Over yeah. So let's show them what we are working on now. Okay. I'll go first. Yep. Okay. So I am uh, sort of working on it, kind of not working on it because I, I'm getting frustrated with it. So I'll show you the pattern first. So. It's from the magazine Needle Pulling Thread. That we're super proud that we've enabled somebody. We've enabled uh, Steph to buy this. Yeah, so this is the magazine, and she did a much better review on the magazine than I did. But So go watch her video. Yeah. Also, she bought just the pattern she wanted, which was Which is really smart. smart, because that's why, Steph, that was so smart, because mm -hmm. that's why I bought the magazine, because I wanted that pattern. Like I Now, the designer, she's Canadian, and she's not too far away from us, um... And she has a store, X is the nose, and other people are doing other patterns of hers. Um, so that's the so. pattern. I'm doing the Nutcracker tree. And I was told, because I asked um, I asked the people that work in this, like, we went to a long story. We went to a store. We went to a, the Creative Festival in Toronto. It's or actually at the International Centre. And it's um, a festival. And I was asking the ladies in the booth, X is Noah's booth. That's one of the booths that was there. And I asked them, can I just buy the pattern from you guys? That she's seemed reasonable. And she's the designer, right? So they said, no. So you can, you'll find it in in stores or available um, 
uh, I guess, after one year or not. But I'm not sure because Steph bought it online, digital copy. So I'm not sure. From the magazine. From the magazine. So anyways, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Show your progress. So this is my progress. It is not showing up with the light. But anyways, I'm doing it on, I think it's called Ruby Red 32 Count Belfast. Ruby Wine. Ruby, sorry, excuse me. Ruby Wine. And um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of three quarter stitches and it's like concentration galore. Like every time I get interrupted, I make a mistake. And so I haven't really done a lot with it because um, I think the last time I showed you guys, I had a little bit of the girl, I had some of the girl done, but now... I actually haven't even seen it since. Yeah. So now I have some of the other um, Nutcracker figurines done, but... Um, it's coming along, but I think it's going to be one that I have to take breaks because... Are you putting this one away? I'm not saying I'm putting it away, but I'm just working on other things right now. And the other thing that I'm working on right now, and it's still still attached to my uh, shoe snap, but that's, that's okay. So this is the pattern. I'm doing it on 32 count. I'm doing it on my very favorite fabric 32 count um natural linen the one she showed the one i showed the package and i'm so sad that it's all done but that's the pattern little house needleworks and it's the snowflakes pattern and she it's showed this in her last video super cold Our right now video. here and so i thought i need to i need to do something that's um what's the temperature out right now it's like minus 17 or something Celsius. yeah 16 it's so, cold. so cold. cold. So I thought, I have to do I a mean, wintery one. I in Canada, so we can't complain. No, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I've done so far. And it says winter with two little trees. And but she's houses. doing her own conversions, too. Yeah. Oh, right. Because, I should say that. That's right. So, the on Christmas Day, I wanted to start this. And I was unable to start it because... You um, come to my house for Christmas dinner. Right. And also, I... Also, I didn't have the specialty, like I've got the fabric, but I don't have the specialty floss for it. And I thought, oh, I really, really want the specialty floss. Fancy floss. Real, the fancy floss. And I thought, okay. But I converted it to DMC, all my own colors, basically. I'm using some of the converted colors on the chart. But, like, for example, the the um, fence that is there, I'm doing in, like, a turquoise blue. But um, it's brown in the photo. So, and I... Did yeah. it show up as brown? I think, I, think I chose my own green too. Yeah, it doesn't really show up on the camera that well. So, anyway, so that's what I'm doing now, and I'm loving that one. And what I love about these Little House Needleworks is that they're so easy and quick to stitch because. Yeah, you don't even have to mark it off on your pattern. I mark it off because I'm a little OCD and I get a lot of distractions here. So, show them what you're working on. So I actually haven't stitched in, I don't know, a couple weeks or something, um, but I started yesterday. Uh, it's a busy time of year, so... Yeah, super busy, for sure. I am doing... I, now, it's not even Christmas anymore. Christmas is over, but I'm still doing a Christmas pattern, so it is joy. I don't think I've seen anybody stitch this. I don't think too. so. I haven't seen anybody. If you are, it's really pretty. tag me in your Instagram, because I'd love to see what you're doing. Mm hmm now, I bought this uh, at a sale, and I didn't even realize it was somewhat religious with Mary Joseph and baby Jesus. Um, <laughs> That's very uh, impulsive, isn't it? Like, I didn't even see it. I just like the Quaker style. style. Mm -hmm. Now, she's a big sucker. Uh, she's like 279. I think there's six pages. 253. But it's giant pages. I don't have to mark it off. Um, and I don't even have it ready. <laughs> Those people. <laughs> As they rough, and I'm not taking it as the Q snap. So just a small finish. I'm starting. I haven't in the seen this. Top you right hand corner. It's okay. You don't have to. I can see later. It's beautiful. <laughs> so just the corner of it, and to do the remaining part of this motif, I need six forty. And right, I don't even have my wallet with me. So when I go home, I think she did that on purpose. No, I swear I didn't. <laughs> I was also waiting in my front hall for 20 minutes for her. Right. So that's all I'm doing right now that I have to show you. I've got other stuff on the go that we'll get to eventually. Um, but I don't know. I was feeling this. So it's stitching up really quickly. That's only... I did that last night. I was only stitching for a little bit last night. Mm -hmm. 
and it's coming along. So it's it's a pretty big, pretty big sucker. Do we have anything else to show? We're only at 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't think we have anything else to show. Um, oh, for the one thing I wanted to say for the Lizzie Kate pillow that I did is that I didn't have the fancy floss, and it calls for Weeks Dye Works, and I just I, did. I, I don't even know if I. Yeah, it's a heart sampler. That's the pattern. Now I don't even know if I'm repeating myself, but it's called for calls for Weeks Dye Works, and I, I did, it was a kit. It is a kit, but it didn't come with a thread. So it so it came. So it came with the charms. It was a half kit. Came with the charms, and it came with the beads. And it came with the fabric. Oh. But it did not come with the, of course, because it cost, calls for like 15 fancy Usually flosses. you get everything except the fabric. Well, I guess not. So I just used DMC and actually the pink, the pink in the center of the flower is like in the conversion on the chart. It calls for um, 3354 and I used DMC 151. And you know what? It was close enough. I didn't want to run to the store and get it because I was in a panic to start it. I just couldn't wait. With cross stitch though, it's structured creativity in my eyes. So you can do your own thing. You don't have to follow it. It's just suggestions, and you make yeah, it your own. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, anything else you want to say? Not for today, I guess. I'm super, super pumped about doing some actual finishes and just my progress. Yeah. So We've got a lot done. It's been three weeks, and hopefully, it's not as long for the next video. Probably not. We'll probably do it. Um, every other week or so whenever we have something to say hmm yeah okay well, okay well I guess that's it that's it <laughs> so um we'll uh talk so if you want to follow me time. yeah so if you want to <laughs> awkward <laughs> awkward <laughs> so if you want to follow me on instagram i'm simply x stitching and i'm strawberry stitcher yeah and uh we've gotten some new followers since which is nice so we can mm -hmm. keep you updated between the videos pumps our tires yeah it really pumps our tires and you guys pumped our tires because yes we were so motivated to make another video because of all the pumping, so. <laughs> that sounds so bad. All right, we're going to go. So we'll uh, see you later. Okay, okay bye. bye.